Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. Today we will be looking at the QuickBooks desktop and we will be covering how to create change orders. So let's get started. As you can see, here is my job list and I want to create a change order for this project, Second House Construction. So as you can see, we have the estimate. We have already done a bill. What we want to do is create a change order that we can bill for this project. So in order to do that, what we need to do is go to the estimate. And I just have three line items here. That's what the project entails. But I want to do a change order. So now I'm going to skip just one line and I'm going to enter, let's say, uh, just for demonstration purposes that we need to do a change order for wall framing. Um, so let's go ahead and I can rename this even though this is the name for the item. I'm going to rename it. I can put, I can add um, change order one or you can add your own uh, detailed information for that change order. And let's just say that this change order is $500. Now what this does, it obviously adds it to the estimate. But in order for QuickBooks to really um, add it as a change order, as an addition, when we save the estimate, we're going to go ahead and save it. Do you want to record changes? I'm going to say yes. As you can see, this window pops up and it says add change order. And it's saying this is what the change is. This is the change to the estimate. Do we want to add it as a change order or we do not want to add it as a change order? Now, in this case, we do want to add it. But let's say you want to make an adjustment to an estimate that you already created in QuickBooks. Then you would select do not add as a change order and then you could just create, um, it'll save that change into the estimate. So let's click add and let's take a look and see what the estimate looks like. Let's see. And as you can see, QuickBooks created this change order. Here's my line item right here. And I, I created something um, in here where it said change order one. So QuickBooks does its own change order information. So now when we go and bill this project, let me close out of here and let's do a new invoice. Let's select that estimate. We can go ahead and now bill for that change order. And as you can see, it's right here. It's a little, it's separated than uh, the items and that's why I created a line item here and you can even add a, a like a title change orders so below that change order title it'll be the change orders so let's just say we want to bill it a hundred percent and that's all we want to bill press OK and that's our billing here's our billing let's see if you guys can see it there we go okay $500, we just built our change order. And that's how you create change orders on QuickBooks Desktop for contractors or QuickBooks Desktop Premier. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more tips and tricks and how-tos, and I will see you on the next one.